Hello and welcome to today's edition of Rabbi Ron in the Car. Life is like a journey. We're on the go, traveling places, decisions to make. And a car is a great illustration of what our life is like. We're out there driving around, traveling, going to places, and as we're on the road driving, there are decisions we have to make. And especially when we get to intersections. That's when life gets a little more exciting. We get to an intersection and now it's not just the cars all going the same direction as you, but there are cars cutting into your lanes and turning in and out from different directions. Life gets a little more complicated. Our decisions get a little tougher. Do we go? Do we stop? Do we wait? When there are intersections that are real busy, man has given us traffic lights to try to help us. If we get the green light, we can proceed and go forward with confidence. If we get a red light, we can stop with confidence knowing this is what is safe and best to do. Now when we have to make a turn at an intersection, things get a little more tricky. If it's an intersection where there's a lot of traffic, they'll give us turning signals, green and red, to turn or not, and that will help us to go or wait with confidence and stay safe. But other intersections that are not as busy, they don't have turning signals, and it's left to our own discretion. And those are moments we have, we don't have the same confidence as we had when we had the turning signals there telling us what to do. Now in this week's Torah portion, the children of Israel were on a journey. They were traveling. They didn't have traffic signals. But God led them. And he led them by cloud by day and fire by night. When the cloud or the fire was moving forward, it was like having a green light. They knew to continue going forward. When the cloud or the fire stopped, it was like a red light saying, stop, stay put, do not go. They were able to then travel with confidence. They had that, but unfortunately, God doesn't appear to us every day as a cloud by day or fire by night. And just like the children of Israel then and us when we're in a car, we are on a journey every day and we've got decisions to make and we need to know whether we're to go forward, whether we're to stop, whether to wait. And unfortunately, we don't have always the same confidence. Sometimes it's very clear cut and we know whether to stop or to go with clarity and confidence. But we don't always have that. And God doesn't give us the cloud or fire to help us. I'd like to ask you this question. What do you do in those moments when you don't have a green light or red light giving you complete confidence and clarity whether to stop or go? What do you do? How do you know whether God wants you to go or whether God wants you to stop? Whether it's safe to drive and continue or whether it's safest to stay put and wait until the light changes. How do you hear with confidence? How do you hear with clarity so you know with certainty what you're supposed to do? Every one of us has these same questions every day in our life. And so listen, I would like your help. Everybody watching would like your help. Would you please give this some thought? And then when you come up with an answer, how has God shown you whether to know with clarity to go forward or stop? Would you share your answer with us on our Facebook page, on our YouTube page at Nair Tamid on campus, both in Facebook and YouTube, there's a place for comments. Would you please share a comment with us? Every one of us can use help and to learn with more confidence to know whether God wants us to go forward or to stop. How to hear God's voice clearer than ever before. We're asking for your help. Would you please take a little bit of time and write your comments down so you can share them with us? And if you do that, I would love to then share those comments on another video coming up soon so that we make sure that people get that, get your responses, and have some more things to consider and see if that's what God would have them to do. We're all on a journey. Let's help each other on our journeys. Our time is up. Thanks for traveling with me today. It's been Rabbi Ron in the car.